live in the dungeon. This is the Dream Warrior Review. I'm Kurt Thomas. I'm Nick Strawn. And this is episode 93. Twelve days. Twelve days. Twelve days of terror. Two thousand four. Okay. This is part of our shark extravaganza for yeah. July and August. Uh, directed by Jack, Jack Shoulder. Shoulder. And who else was on the list that I recognized huh. that we talked to recently? Jock Hatkin. Yes. Oh, so two good friends of mine here. I thought I read somewhere that this was a made for TV, but I can't verify. It that. has to be a made. Yeah, for TV, TV movie. I'm, I'm telling right you, there. yeah, it had to be a TV movie. It had to be really low budget. It so had... the theme of this was. For 12 days in July 1916, a shark patrolled the waters of northern New Jersey. This docudrama is based on <laughs> Richard <laughs> Fernicola. Fernicola's account of account those days. Of it. Yeah, his uh, account. Oh, yes. So it's, it's actually what inspired Jaws, apparently, from what I've heard. Really? That yes. story that Okay. Wrote. Um, all I had to say is I think that this was a chance for um, Jacques and uh, Jack to get away to the ocean because uh, everything about this sucked. Did you even like the costume design? I thought the costume was pretty good. And the drapes were amazing. The drapes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but mm-hmm. the, I thought the costume, were, it was a period piece because it was 1916 <laughs> and it was shot in South Africa and it looked nothing like... Was it in South Africa? It looked Africa? nothing like New Jersey. I don't know if you noticed that. I but. I, I had to look it don't, up. And don't it, even care. Yeah, I looked it up and it was like, yep, shot in South Well, Africa. I noticed that, you know, the kind of, the funny thing is you do notice this definitely in it is it was way low budget. Because <coughs> I, I give you an example. Uh, did you notice that the first actor that died that came and, the, and they, when they I think did, I know where you're going with this. They did the makeup on blue. his face. Blue. And, and then when he got inside. But, <laughs> but, but the thing that was funny is, is that as they're bringing him in, his face is blue, but just his face. Yeah, just his face, yeah. And you can see the rest of his body out there is normal color. And then they brought him inside, and his face and wasn't blue anymore. And his face wasn't blue anymore. Yeah, I, wrote the, I, I like, noticed that, too. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I will say, that I think Mr. Haken actually did a decent job. No, no, I think I think that he did, and I'm sure that he didn't have a dime. Right, and I think, you know, you got to wonder if uh, Jack Shoulder, like, maybe he didn't have a lot to work with. I mean, you talk about oh, I'm sure look that at the didn't. actors he was working with. Look, you know what? I mean, the best guy was that salty sea captain, I yeah, thought. Yeah. Let me put it this way. <laughs> I'll give you a story time piece right here. Oh, right now. I'm ready. Early, early. Okay. Right. Story time. Story time. It's story time with Mick. 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 We, uh, uh, when I was uh, working uh, on Diseases of the Week, which which is actually the, the um, movie movies of the week, <laughs> like, yeah, which right. were TV movies, uh, there were a couple of, a couple of interesting problems that we would have with the rules of money and so forth. Uh, did I tell you the story about you know? Uh, all, all of a sudden, going in and and doing a, a movie of the week and not spending any money, and then at the end of it, you know, twenty. Uh, I, I I had to spend twenty thousand dollars on on one set, you know, just to to so that nobody could you know accuse me of anything, <laughs> right? You know? Yeah, but, I remember that. Yeah, but now that's one thing. But the opposite, the opposite of that is that you have to remember when you were working on those. That you were, you were the thing in between the commercials, right? Yeah, and and, and everyone yeah. would remind you of that. You 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 had a budget to do those of of like, uh, I would say that you know the, the those budgets were way under a million, probably half a million, like uh, around half a million, and uh, it included like you know, one major actress or something like that, or at least recognizable human being right. and, and everybody else uh they would remind you as you came into the weekend especially if you were in art department and you would ask questions like well you know the director isn't like the color of the house and her and you know the combination of the producer and the bookkeeper which sometimes the accountant and the 
producer with the same person. Or like-minded. Right. Married <laughs> and, to each other. And, 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 yes, exactly. <laughs> and they would say things like, what? This, 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 we, are, we are the fodder in between the commercials. <laughs> right. You know? And, 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 and the funny thing is, is this, it, is it did work out that way because an awful lot of times you would, you would be, if you went to work on commercials, they would spend as much money as five hundred thousand dollars yeah. on on thirty seconds. Oh yeah, of, of a spot. So um, you know, you just had to remember what side your uh, bread was buttered on. Exactly. You know, uh, nobody. Uh, I had one one uh, accountant explain it, explain it to this me this way: is there aren't going to be any more people in the seats because <laughs> because <laughs> that set's blue. <laughs> yeah, and go. Okay, got it, got it. Wow. Yeah. Butts in the seats. Yep. Butts in the seats. So go back to and your film already. Pays everything. Yeah, yep. that's true. Back to our um, review already in process. I didn't hate watching this until halfway through that I got bored. Really? But, it took you halfway? Well, how about the do when it became a freshwater shark? I thought the outfits were way too skimpy for my taste. Even though I said I like the. I mean, I saw too many ankles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted more horror and better acting is one thing I wrote down. Yeah. Uh, I did like the fact that they didn't show the sharks because the sharks look horrible when yeah, they showed them. Cause the, yeah. Because not a, a shark the never optic, goes in well, a straight line. Yeah. And with the foam it, fins. It, it, except for the the optical of it going up the, the optical, river. Yeah, up the river. Whoa, that like was... Like a little shadow. Yeah, it, 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 was, it was like... A, it was like a, a shark being pulled on a string. Yeah. <laughs> it was like Ehh! it was. I think it, it literally was. was like it, on a track, right? Yeah, probably. that's what it looked like. <laughs> but so the uh, I'm talking about was going through the river by the gir- boys. Right, that's what it looked right. like. It was being pulled by a string. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, that's so the yes, first that... couple of attacks, you didn't see the shark at all. But you did you notice the fin changed? Yeah, the fin kept changing. Right, the fin. Uh, I mean, at the very beginning, it looked like a dolphin fin. Right. And, and then it became two fins, like it, like it, it was yeah. a tuna. And then, um, it, and then a little bit later on, it, it, it had new character. For right. instance, it like it, it kind of looked like a like a uh, like a fin of a koi or something <laughs> like that. I was like, how, how could they? Well, there is many different fins. There are people that say that they say it was a great white shark in the movie, but some people think it was a bull shark. So maybe they were kind of toying with that. Yeah, and it was eight feet long. <laughs> But I did like it didn't rely on CGI like Deep Blue Sea did. Right. That was one thing I wrote down that I think is very, uh, I guess, I like this better than Deep Blue Sea is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> by, <laughs> by the way. Just, it's a great just, B movie. Is it good? Okay. Don't you think so? Well, you know what? It, it, I didn't it, hate it, watching it, it. It was actually, I actually kind it, of what, enjoyed it. What's funny is, is and you know, this is the way that it is, but uh, as soon as, I saw a bolt come out, a nut and a bolt come out, <laughs> and, and, and attach something. Yeah. What was the first thing that I thought was, well, they're going to do that again, and somebody's going to drop that bolt. Right. Of course. <laughs> it's exactly what happened. I was like, ugh. So they need better, better special effects, better acting, less romance, and faster pacing. Fewer river sharks. Don't you think it was really slowly paced? In fact, I wrote down here, July 12th, where the narration started. <laughs> It yeah. says it's been 12 days since the first yeah, 12 attack. Day, yeah, right. That's when the movie should have started. Yeah. It should have started right there. Yeah. No, no, like, I agree. Get rid of the whole first part of the movie. Well, I thought it was also funny with the kids' eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Did you notice that? The kids' eyes. Yeah, they were looking around. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> it's like, oh, my gosh. So did you like the gore, though? Oh. Was the gore good? Like the... When they showed the, yes, the, the that first, was, I that thought was that was good. The only thing was good, and the blood in the water the, was good. Well, well, it was pretty funny actually. That well, but, I like the first two did, attacks because you don't see the shark, and all you see is the guy getting pulled did, around. Did you notice that the 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 red that was in the water? Yeah. Did you did you notice where it the went away. red moved went away? Yeah. It started to move away. <laughs> yeah, oh, it was like literally. It, it was like <laughs> it was here. Right. They were using an optical spot of red blood, and it was here. And then all of a sudden, the camera kind of like did this one, this thing like this, and the blood just went like over there. It just started to like the blood kind of like went away. I was like, "Wow, that's interesting." <laughs> See, I here, here I said the last time we saw a fin, it was a carp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, but I I love the. Uh, um, 
what's the guy's name? Quint? Uh, Quint in Jaws, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. There was Quint. <laughs> there was Quint in Jaws, right? And they had the worst version of Quint you could possibly get. You know, you go on, you go on a boat, and, and we're gonna, and and we're not gonna see uh, a man, neither man nor beast, for hundreds of miles, and there will be a shark. <laughs> but and don't you like, think that he was probably one of those better actors, though? I thought, <laughs> yeah, that was so sad. I was, I was that's what that. I mean. <laughs> I was like, he's actually one he, of the better guys. He's actually, and he's the better one. That's exactly right. Uh, I like the underwater shot where the guy was looking for the guy, the boy because he couldn't you couldn't see anything. Right, really. right. I like that shot. That was really good until the shark showed up. Right, exactly. <laughs> and then when the oh shark yeah, got, and I wrote that the shark <laughs> and they showed it again and again and I was yeah, like the shark looks horrible. Like, uh, <laughs> I, I know. I literally <clears throat> and, and and that's the funny thing is is you don't double down <laughs> on horrible and on horrible. Right. I mean, the first time you saw that shark, you were like. <gasps> Oh, that's terrible. And then they showed it three times more. <laughs> You're going, geez. Yeah, yeah. I wrote is, down it's again. It's not getting better. Again, it's again, not getting better. Again. So I like the first two attacks. You don't see anything. Right. It's pretty good gore. Yeah. Right. The legs are all ripped up and stuff. All right. And then the when you see the shark, they should have just shown him once. And that's it. Yeah. And then the fans running straight through the water. And the foam wiggled at some point too. Like yeah, it, like it just looks <laughs> yeah, like a yeah. Ah, little wiggling here, a little. They didn't paint it enough either. I don't think. Yeah. Uh, well, like, you know, it wasn't yeah. the right shade of gray. <laughs> but anyway, but I did enjoy kind of watching it. It was like kind of like oh, okay, I'm not gonna. Tr-. But I did end up fast forwarding a few parts here and there, at the end. Yeah. I was like I'm done with this. I I also had a feeling that, uh, I, and I, you know, don't quote me on this, but um, that boat had a. Pretty uh, strong little motor for a. Uh, it was. I thought some of the boats looked a little. Actually, I, I was thinking that some of the boats seemed a little too up to date. I guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I yeah put... Well, I mean, I mean the 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 motor, the outboard motor that was on that one boat was obviously. <laughs> I know that they just tried to like uh, clad junk on it. it. It looked like they they spray painted a, a box and just threw the box over the top of it, and it was an Evinrude, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, as far as locations go, why did they shoot this in Cape Town, South Africa? I have no idea. Was it budget? Uh, you know what? It could be budget, uh, but you know what it's probably likely to be? It's probably likely to be that they got uh, all kinds of uh, tax credits for it, or the money came from South Africa to do the film, or... Um, uh, Jack and Jock got a great deal on a on a condo down there, or something. You know. I was trying to look for trivia, but uh, all, all really I have nothing. to say is 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 both of them have done a lot better. Yes, I agree. A lot better. Jack Shoulder for sure. Jack Jack, Jack Jock come on, Jock. Come yeah. on, these are these, these are these are my peeps, man. You know. Nah, they 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 they've done a lot better. But then you know what. Whoa. I certainly have things just as bad in my resume. Yeah, I was gonna say it's like you were talking about TV movies that you've done. Oh um, yeah, Lawrence this was probably better than some of them. Oh, <laughs> I would imagine. How, how, how could you possibly say that? I did Lawrence Bimbinick. The, right? The, yeah, the which serial, I never heard of the, until you said something about the it. The serial killer cop. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, yeah, do what you can. The only thing you didn't do in your career, which I wish you did, was cop rock. <laughs> Oh, I wish I'd done cop rock, you know. Just, uh, it's just so bad. Yeah. And by the way, was I the one to to show that to you the first time? No, actually, I remembered it. Oh, you remembered it? I remember oh, it. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was on my radar. I think. Yeah, that was funny. That's you know what that that was that 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 happened about the same time that uh, Hollywood stopped doing drugs the first time. The first time, yes. And, and yeah, <laughs> there's there's probably more than. No, this probably wasn't the first time. There were probably other times. <laughs> well, you know, you never know. Hollywood dries up, and the first thing you get, you know, uh, is cop rock. <laughs> we'll see if there's any good quotes. Oh, maybe not. No. no I, I'm a fisherman. You got nothing. Dr. John Nichols says, I'm a fisherman. I want to see who I want to see who is America. Sasha, Sasha Barrett. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I like Sasha Baron Cohen. Yeah. In fact, what's weird is I like Borat, but I really liked, for some weird reason, I liked the the second one he did. Um, 
I've seen it like a hundred times. Bruno. <laughs> I really like Bruno? that Bruno? Oh, really? Yeah. I, I don't know why I like that one so much. I think it's because I like... That had more reactions of... I kind of like the one the 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 uh, where he was the Saudi Arabian prince. Oh, <laughs> well, that was pretty good. I I mean you know when he was uh, uh when the baby comes out. And <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a it, it, it's a female. You can just throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> but and Bruno, they had a it was like a they were showing a. a a TV show to people to a test audience, right? <laughs> that was probably one of my favorite parts because <laughs> they had the big penis scene, you know. Right, like, yeah, yeah. But no, the whole thing with the the Swedish supermodel is just ridiculous. But I, I like that one better. But anyway, I like anything he does, so yeah. I definitely will watch Ex- that. Exactly. So Sasha Baron Cohen. So are we done with this? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. I'm done. I can go home. Yay. This is Kurt Thomas along with Mick Strong. Thank you for listening to the Dream Warrior Review. If you have any questions or just have feedback for our show, we welcome them at dreamwarriorreview at gmail.com. Of course, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter as well. As always, please follow us and tell your friends about us too.